Hello there. I got that ID from... First you have to excuse my French and also I'm taking this video with the iPad so it might be shaky a little bit. I got that ID from Rednick79 on YouTube. You should check his channel. He's got cool stuff there. As you see it's made from a, an old radial arm saw and I made some leg for it with rollers so I can park it in the corner in the back there it's a 12 volt power supply that motor is a drill motor 12 volt drill motor connect with the small rubber rows between the motor and the shaft I did install two limit switch, one in the front here and one in the back. The back I don't use that much, but the front it sure helps when that nut get at the end of the travel there because you have to flip two switch in order to stop the thing. That's the control box. The switch on the left is for a forward reverse switch the one on the right is the speed I left the cover off to show you the the reducer, the speed reducer there and the switch a toggle switch that's for the plasma cutter and that's the wire that connect to the plasma cutter there I carved that older from uh, I think it's a two an inch, two and a half inch or three inch pipe. Carve it out with the grinder and uh, and file. That table is removable, and later on I can change those slat if I have to. And also little piece of steel you see there it's for uh, unlocking the arm if you want just to push it by hand there now let's see it in action and if my ground here That's the. Uh, I didn't want to fool around with the with an electronic and the and the plasma cutter. So what I did, I just cut the wire there. And if I want to use the plasma cutter by hand, I just plug it back. And for my switch, I plug it there. That's the switch here. Oh, better turn my. Plus my cutter on. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's thin stuff though. Maybe, I don't know, 24 gauge. Uh, we'll check. I'll maybe go up a little bit. That should be alright. Very good. I cannot, I cannot cut straight like that by hand. I can't even cut the angle with the hand. So, 
if you just want to use the label itself, you want to plug it here so you can use it by hand. It help if it goes on the right side. Flip that out of the way. And you can use that. Okay, now I'll cut a quarter inch just to show you. It's about the, the maximum there, a quarter inch for that plasma cutter. Nice straight cut, a quarter inch. Very nice. Okay, that's another speed reducer for my circle cutter. On the left there is a, a plug-in for a foot control, which i show you later. And that's my <coughs> shaft, my holder for a, the circle cutter. On the bottom there, you don't see it under that little plate, there's a, another small uh, gearbox motor called Volt. And that's the ground strap there. And I machined that little piece there with a recess for a, there's a magnet there in the center, recess a little bit. Okay, the only problem is you have to drill a hole in the middle to fit over the, to fit over the pin there. So if you don't want the hole later, you just weld it up. There you go, and I've rounder than that. Now I'll try to cut a piece one eight inch. Now, for the foot control I was talking about, I just made that with a, a sewing machine 
pedal. Just plug it here. I'm not an electronic guy, so it took me a long time to figure how to work that thing. The only problem is it's turned too fast. It's turning too fast to weld, but you can always tack tack weld. I will need another controller for that. I'll show you how it works. Yeah. That's about it. Thank you for watching.